Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Perchance AI Image Generator creates stunning images with AI. So this is a very good tool given that it's entirely for free. Now before we get started, just a disclaimer, this is an AI that doesn't have a paid subscription. So the generation images for this one might be random. There might be the one that you're looking for. So please bear in mind that this is going to be a free AI image generator. The quality may be different, but it's still free, right? Anyway, the first thing you're going to see here is going to be that you can log in. So what's the difference between logging in and of course not logging in? Basically, if you log in, you can save your generations. You can store them and basically use them for further um, future uses. But for now, I'm going to utilize the one that doesn't have to log in, right? So what you can see here is basically a description or a prompt bar. The dice right there gives you random prompt to use with. And then the brain icon right there is going to be an embed option. Now, if you don't have any idea where to start with, you can simply click on show comments in gallery to show the comments regarding this one. And then if you just lower your mouse just a little bit more, you're going to see this generations. They have their prompt. If you want to copy them, you can download by that option right there. And basically, this is going to be the other creations by other creators. Now, for example, you don't like those creations, so you can hide comments and hide gallery one more time. And you want a really good photo. So I'm going to utilize my favorite AI image website. So welcome back to the video. It's going to be called C Art AI. Now, this is going to be an AI wherein I've made a couple of videos. So please check it out. You just have your mouse and you see the prompt right there. So I'm going to utilize this young woman right here. Simply click on copy and basically go back on perchance. Now, once you're back here, simply place it right there, and you'll notice that there are different features here. First shot is gonna be the angle, the color, and the effect. Now, please bear in mind that if you change your art style, for example, these are a bunch of art style, right? So if you change them, those features may be different. Some of them does have the feature, some of them does not. So please choose wisely. Anyway, for the shape, you're going to have portrait, square, and landscape. For this video, I am going to utilize the landscape. And for the art style, I'm going to just utilize the casual photo first. And notice that the features here are now quite different. Take note, if you choose, for example, extreme close-up, you can add as many as you want. However, if you want to remove them, you have to manually delete them from the prompt itself. And then for this one, I'm just going to utilize this without further adding some features and simply click on generate. Now, welcome back to the video. Now, these are going to be the images generated from the AI. Now, before we get started or continue, I just want to let you know that this is going to be, again, a free AI image generation application. Basically, we can't really expect much, but comparing it with the one from CR is still far away, right? So what we can do for here is change the art style without changing the prompt. I'm going to go for professional photo for this one and simply click on generate. So this should look a bit more professional as you can see right there, a bit more realistic rather than the one from earlier. So we have them right here. Now, if you're not satisfied, you can always regenerate. As of now, there is no limit, it's still free. So there is no paid plan for this one. So again, try it as you see fit. So I'm just going to keep on generating until I find the one I'm looking for. One more time for that one, since I'm still seeing a bit more consistency. So one more time for that one. And basically, I think this is the one we're looking for for now. So again, guys, this will be depending on your chances on your AI. So if you want to further feature it, change it for extreme close up, add some color, add some effect. That would be by your own choosing. Now, what if I'm going to try in the traditional Japanese style? Should be this run right there. Perfect right here. Click on generate. So right now we just changed the art style. And I think the traditional gives us a bit more realistic vibe, right? Take a look at that one. If you're not satisfied with one individual photo, you can always regenerate individually. So you don't have to regenerate everything. For example, this one right here. I'm going to regenerate that one. Also this one right there. So we have this ones right there. As you can see, it's still the same color of the sweater. The hair is the same, but it's now on Japanese traditional style. Now, how about giving the Studio Ghibli a shot? Should be around here somewhere. 
thing, I am having a hard time looking for it. So this is gonna be it, Studio Ghibli. Again, nothing's changed on the prompt. I did not add anything else, still on landscape. Click generate, and let's wait for it to finish. As you can see, I'm not skipping the video because it's really a short time to generate. Perfectly right there, it's Studio Ghibli. One more time, if you're not satisfied, of course, you can generate as much as you want. Take a look at it, so we're having this right there. Comparing it with the one from Seart, we're still having consistency on the, some features. For some that doesn't have consistency, you can always regenerate them. For example, down right there. But this first one right here, I think I like it. Especially this one right here. And as you can see right there, we can still regenerate that one. So you can have all consistent characters all together. That's gonna be Studio Ghibli for you guys. Now how about we mix things up and go for Disney Sketch Style. Click on Generate, so this is gonna be a Disney Sketch. And there we have it. So the color is not really visible because it's a sketch, right? So black and white, but come on. That is really awesome. I can regenerate some of this because some of them are not realistic so much. But the other two right here are the one we're looking for. Pretty awesome, right? Now how about we try a different one? I'm gonna go for, for Medieval. So as you can see right there, there's so much art style to choose from. A tip for you guys, do not change your prompt and explore the art style by itself. So we have this one right here, it's a bit more random. Now before I move on with the next feature for this one, I just want to highlight for a free tool that is actually quite good. I know it doesn't live up to our quality, it doesn't live up to our standard. Some of them are not inconsistent, some of them are consistent. Again, I just want to reiterate, this is a free tool. Alright, so being on the next feature, if you go to a chat, you can create your very own character. Given this is still gonna be on the beta phase, so still it's not really functional as of now. But by simply adding, filling up this prompt right there, you can message the AI and they're gonna create your very own character. Basically, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.